Hello my candy crafters. Today I'm going to be making resin dominoes in just three hours. Yes, three hours. On top of that, I have a brand new way on how to dot your dominoes. Minimal mess and minimal cleanup. First, I'm gonna start off by mixing both my epoxy resin and my hardener together, one of each part, so 50-50. I tried my best to measure for you guys this time because I know in my last video, a lot of people were asking me, you know, how, how much resin should I use? Well, I'm going to say start off with about 80 to 100 milliliters. So either you're going to do 40 of the hardener and 40 of the resin, or you're going to do 50 of the hardener and 50 of the resin. The plastic cups I used had lines on it, so it just made it easier for me to kind of eyeball it. So you can do the same, or you can actually purchase um, some measuring cups from Amazon, some silicone ones. Pers me personally, I don't like cleaning up, so <laughs> I just use the plastic cups. I could just, you know, use them and then throw them away. The mica powder I'm using today is Black Pearl, and I actually got this for free um, off of Amazon when I purchased the Dr. Crafty resin. After everything is mixed together, I just fill my mold about half to three fourths of the way. Now here's the game changer right here. Put your mold in a toaster oven at 150 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes and your resin will harden. I literally got this toaster oven for $20 at Walmart. For the decals, I printed them out in printable vinyl and I just laminated it. I actually have a video on how I make my vinyl decals. So, you know, after this video, you can go ahead and watch that one too. Literally, the only thing I did different was um, laminate these decals. And the only reason why I did that is because I'm putting a decal on the storage box that you will see later on in the video. And I wanted a shiny finish as opposed to a matte finish. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, so 30 minutes later, my dominoes are hard enough for me to put the decals on. I cut my decals out um, with my Cricut Maker. The settings I use for it is heavy car stock and I put more pressure. And it cut just enough where it cut through both the laminate and the sticker, I mean not the sticker paper, but the um, vinyl decal without cutting totally through it. So they look like stickers, but they're actually is not sticker paper. I mean, I guess they're technically stickers, but I didn't use sticker paper. I used printable vinyl. They just look like stickers, but it's printable vinyl. After my decals are all on, I top off the rest of my dominoes with just plain clear resin. The measurements for this, I'm gonna say about 20 milliliters. So 10 for the hardener, 10 for the resin. You can do 15 and 15 if you want, if you feel like that might not be enough. And then to get the bubbles out, you can use 91% alcohol and or um, the lighter like I'm using. But please do not spray your alcohol and then immediately, you know, light, use the lighter because you will set your dominoes on fire. I did that. So take it from me. Please don't try to burn down your house. Also, I probably should have put this in the beginning of the video, but I low-key forgot. But it's going to make your life so much easier to put the rack down first and then put your mold on top of the rack. So when it's time for you to transfer your dominoes into the oven, you can just slide it in there. For the second layer, I put my dominoes in the oven for an hour. 
and this is how they turned out now don't worry about the excess um resin because honestly i just cut that part off all right here's another game changer listen up to dot my dominoes i'm using the top notch matte acrylic paint and this little pink and white tool right here that i got from the dollar tree of course in the craft section for one dollar i start off using the smaller end like the smaller ball in and i do my line first i paint my line and then all the excess i just wipe off with either my finger or a paper towel and then the bigger ball i dip into the paint and literally just paint just dot the ball like it's literally the perfect size and it's minimal cleanup like minimal like i don't have to do too much at all in my last video i used the dollar tree paint brushes and it didn't even dawn on me to just use the little um ball the little baller that i had like i had this tool for the longest didn't know what i needed it for i just bought it because it was a dollar and now i'm actually gonna put it to use like I'm glad that I bought it. People ask me if I sand down my dominoes, and honestly, I don't, because I don't feel like I need to. My ends and my edges aren't really that sharp, but if you feel the need to sand down your dominoes, then do so. The only thing is, when you sand down your dominoes, you're gonna have to put either a very, very, very light coat of UV resin or regular resin to give it back its shine. All right, my candy crafters, this is how my dominoes, my three hour dominoes turned out. If you're in the domino business, this is definitely a game changer. If you have any domino tips and tricks, please let us know in the comments. I'm always looking for, you know, new techniques and ideas to test out for myself and for you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Until next time, my kinder crafters.